What is going on guys, MJ2005 Gundam here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the high grade GXS Jack Edge from Gundam Age. One of the ace units of the Basidian Pirates, it stealthily enters the battlefield with a creepy grinning skull. Cracking open the box, you'll be unable to find yourself with 6 runners and a small sticker sheet. With it being based on the GXS apparently, it comes with all the runners of the original with some slight alterations as well as one new runner. And in keeping with the conventions of high grade age kits, it's extremely simple and comes together fairly quickly. But still, beware of cutting out the dark pieces as they will lead to some love marks. I'm not sure how fresh you'll consider the build if you have built the original GXS and or the Shadow Doll variant but to me, it's a fresh experience that leaves a good impression. Except for the front skirts. Straight assembly complete and the GXS Jack Edge looks sinister. And the grey on navy blue colour scheme brings that point across without the kit looking completely dull. But due to the dark plastics, the seam lines on the shoulders, legs and backpack are a bit apparent if residue gets in. Only the head and shoulders are new in terms of the body, but it got rid of the one thing I dislike about the original GXS kit, the dodgy looking head, replacing it with a grinning skull wearing a pirate's hat, alongside pinpoint accurate proportions to boot. Stickers are used in the eyes, rear head sensor, and the grey vents on top of the backpack. There are also some black ones used on the front and back skirts, and the recesses on the shins, but they can easily be foregone and replaced with paint. Overall, Banda has done a great job with the GXS and Shadow variants, so the Jack Edge is no exception. And since it adopts a dark color scheme, it depends on the person as to whether to bring up the detail with black panel lining. Articulation wise, the head is on a double ball jointed neck, but apart from the mullet getting caught on the collar, there are no limitations. The arms can swing omnidirectionally, but somewhat hindered by the bulky chest, and rotate with no obstructions. A moving shoulder panel can get out of the way of the arm raise, there is a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and ball jointed wrists. There is a ball joint in the torso that allows for decent crunches all around, while the waist can rotate all the way. Front skirts can move but become incredibly loose after being separated, and the side skirts can also move. The legs can swivel omnidirectionally, only front kicks allowed, while the side splits are no challenge. There's a thigh swivel, double jointed knees, hinged ball jointed feet that provide quite a bit of movement, and ball jointed backpack boosters. Altogether, the articulation of the GXS Jack Edge is great, but limited by the bulk in some parts. The front skirts though, bear my warning, do not separate them. The accessory loadout of this kit is quite simplistic. For starters, there is a pair of holding hands and a left open palm. As for weapons, beam sabers are stored in the cups of the backpack and can be used with the SB9 beams. Though no longer called wolf fangs, they serve their melee purpose well. Next is the Dots Rifle 2B, this time with a yellow scope, a movable foregrip, and an attached knife. It sandwiches into the hand for use with no weight issues, but the size is a bit comically large. The knife can also be detached for a separate use as a cutlass like blade, though the unremovable clip attachment is somewhat unappealing to look at. You can also store the rifle by flipping out the tab and sliding down the panel on the butt and plugging it in, which is nice. As added firepower, the side skirts can flip up for the missile pods to face forward. Fire in the hole as they say. Finally, there's the shield. It's the standard issue Shaldal shield and can be held in the hand for use, with the support of the peg going into the handcuff. And as per usual with age kits, the orientation can be adjusted by repositioning said handcuff. But it's worth noting that no matter the orientation, the shield is still rather loose, especially said peg. For leftovers, you have everything except the eyes to revert the jack edge into the original GXs. So by buying this kit, you've experienced both and can make a call for whether you want the original for the aesthetic differences. Though I don't know what's scarier, a grinning skull or a wolf with hollow eye sockets. In conclusion, I'd actually recommend the high grade GXs jack edge. It's a pirate suit, so... 
yeah. But apart from that, it does its job representing the mobile suit in a high grade kit. The only issues I've had with it are the loose front skirts after separation, but otherwise, it's still a great one to have in your collection. And maybe get a few in order to have a team of these with your other Basidian kits. Like I said, the changes between the jacket and original are purely aesthetic with a knife stabbed into it, so if you are to pick between the two, go for the one you like the look of the most. Otherwise, have fun. And that's all for me. Thank you for watching. Drop a like and comment if you did enjoy the video. Subscribe for more content like this. And feel free to follow me on social media with the links down below. That said, take it easy, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye.